Focus on your breath. Know when it's coming in, know when it's going out. And have the confidence to stay right here. You don't have to worry about there being anything important out there that you aren't paying attention to, that you're missing out on. Because all the good things in life come from a mind that's well trained. And this is what you're doing right now, is you're training the mind. So it's more in control of its thoughts, and when it's in more in control of its thoughts, it's more in control of its words and deeds, and these things are the things that shape your life. And so if you're looking for anything good in life, any lasting happiness, this is where you're going to have to look. It may not seem all that promising, because after all, it's just the breath coming in and going out. But you've got the whole mind right here. Or if you do have the whole mind right here, that's when it gets trained. So don't be worried about missing out on things outside, the TV shows or whatever's going to go on today. You've got something really important to do right here, because this is the center of your life. It's the shape of your mind. And you need mindfulness, you need alertness, you need concentration in order to do any task well. At the same time, you need the qualities that we chanted just now about the virtues. These are the virtues that make sure that you're not harming anybody. This is another way of training the mind, developing two qualities. One quality is called a sense of shame, the other is called a sense of compunction, hiri and otapat. Now, the word shame has, has a bad connotation now in America, but it really shouldn't. It's If you're ashamed of doing something evil, that's a healthy shame. If you feel that you're a shameful person, that's unhealthy. You don't have to worry about that. You don't have to think in those terms. But just realizing that you yourself are, the, are your teacher, and that you yourself are your own policeman of your own actions. There can't be anybody watching over you all the time, but you yourself have this sense that if you did something, even thought of doing something shameful, you, say, you tell yourself, no, I wouldn't want to do that. I'm above that, because this sense of shame comes with a sense of your own self-worth, of confidence in your own self-worth. And compunction, otapa, means thinking about the results that would come from, a, from an unskillful action. You realize you don't want to go there either, because unskillful actions, once you've done them, you can't take them back. No matter how much money you tried to spend, you can't take away the memory of the harm that you've caused. This is why these are called treasures, the treasure of shame, the treasure of compunction. They protect you. They keep you from doing the things that you're later going to regret. And that's one of the most valuable skills you can develop. So where do you develop? You develop here in the mind. And you need the mindfulness and alertness to keep these qualities in mind as well. So as you're being mindful of the breath, being alert to the breath, you're developing the qualities of mind that you need to protect yourself from the regret that you can never repay. And at the same time, to develop qualities, to develop the, the happiness that you want. What kind of happiness do you want? You want something that's long-lasting. The happiness of sight, sound, smells, taste, tactile sensations, that just comes and goes, comes and goes. As Lumpu Sawat used to say, the, the sensual happiness that you had last week, where is it now? It's just a fleeting memory, if that. Most of it you've forgotten. But as for the happiness that comes from doing good, every time you think of it, you remember this is something good. And if you've got good qualities developed and imbued in the mind, trained in the mind, then you find that you can keep yourself happy no matter what the situation is. And so training the mind is the most useful way to spend your time. It's the most productive way of spending your time. So you can be confident as you're focused right here, you're focused on the important spot. You don't have to worry about what other people are doing someplace else. That's what TV tells you, is that the important things in life are what somebody else is doing somewhere else. But the Dharma tells you, and the Buddha tells you, and all the wise people who follow the Buddha can guarantee that the really important things in life are what you're doing right here, right now. So pay careful attention right here, right now, and you've got all your bases covered.